If I may, Samila, the pushback, and, and you see this in some parts of the world as well, uh, in our region amongst uh, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, it's the terms and the conditions have arguably not been really favorable for those uh, recipient uh, countries. And there's been some pushback uh, with regard to uh, the debt trap as well that a lot of these projects are associated with that our government to government deals with, with China. How do you avoid that? So really, it's about being pragmatic, you know, and trying to work with experts, you know. So we, for example, um, have a good relations with, with China Exim Bank. Mm. You know, we've gotten financing from them. We have good relations with Japanese investors, with Korean investors, but we negotiate terms that are favorable for for both parties. We also get financing from the U.S. as well as Europe, and from African uh, countries and African investors themselves. So it's just to negotiate. You know, you negotiate in your best interest and in the best interest of your partner because you have to understand that we're playing the long game here. We want to be around for long and we want to add value, make impact, accelerate development on the continent. And you can only do that when you're being objective and pragmatic. So it's really around working with partners. So we have a lot of countries that come to us to act as their advisors when they want to um, access markets. And we provide them good advice. We're able to use our investment grade rating to um, give them access that we have. We're able to reduce their, their, their borrowing costs. We're able to um, use our experience and diligence in getting things done to their benefit. So it's really around you know, um, being pragmatic like any other person would be, just be pragmatic. So well, you know, people talk about uh, the infrastructure deficit in Asia. I'm sure it's as severe, if not worse, in, in uh, Africa. Right, and that's what uh, the AFC uh, specializes in: financing infrastructure, like the usual, power, transportation, logistics, natural resources, telecoms, also heavy industries. Your institution, the Africa Finance Corporation, is largely uh, private investors from African financial institutions. Does that make it easier for? the AFC when it's uh, pitching or funding projects to tell private investors, it's like, look, I know, you know what matters to you most is return on investment. We've got the guys who can make the numbers work for you. Is that the case? It is the case, and it's mainly because we are focused on providing solutions. We are focused on the reasons why things get done. We are focused on accelerating development impact, and we have a team that understands this, have done it before, and we're able to replicate our past success. You know, so I'll give an example. You know, uh, hopefully in two weeks' time, we're going to commission um, the first independent power plant and wind farm in Djibouti to provide the entire energy requirements of the country. It will actually be the first, you know, country that will be reliant solely on renewable energy. You know, and we did that, you know, by uh, uh, a partnership with the government. We developed to de risk the opportunity and we invited partners to come along us, including investors from here in, in, in Singapore. Oh, okay. You know, to to work with us on on that project. You know, so um, it's really around and about you know focusing on outcomes. You know, focus on the end result. Start with that insight and work your way through there. Wow. 